The Gospel of John was written much later than the other three Gospels, Mark, Luke, and Matthew. And much of the Gospel of John reads as this meditation and prayer. And on this fifth Sunday of Easter, we hear some of that meditative prayer in John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Verse 1 of chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Comforting words from the gospel. Words that were spoken to the disciples. The context of this gospel is prior to Jesus' suffering and uh, death and crucifixion. And yet, over and over throughout the gospel, Jesus is constantly reassuring the disciples in love. Somehow Jesus understands the human condition of worry and stress and fear. For his message is one of constant, deep, abiding love. I know in my own life that I worry a lot. I joke with my family and friends saying, well, we're part Irish, we worry. And I also say that worry's in my DNA. I worry about my family. I worry about the COVID pandemic and the health and well-being of people. Sometimes having a troubled heart is very common for our human experience. And Christ understands that because he says mostly two major phrases throughout the Gospels. Do not be afraid and love one another. And even in the midst of this Easter season this year, when we are called to practice resurrection, we also need to be encouraged and find comfort and reassurance to have faith and not let our hearts be troubled. Because even in the midst of difficulty, we are called to still practice resurrection and Christ understands our worry and our fear. Listen again to another passage in John's Gospel, uh, chapter 14, verses 2 to 3. In God's house there are many dwelling places. I am indeed going to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there you may be as well. God has many dwelling places for all of us. There is room for everyone. For us Christians, our dwelling place in God is through Jesus Christ. It is Christ who leads us to the heart of God. The bottom line of all the dwelling places of God is love. And Christ speaks and lives this gospel of love, challenging us to love even at the turns of worry and trouble and fear. The heart of the matter is love. Also, John's gospel speaks of this relationship with God that Jesus has as a deep, personal relationship of love. Through Christ, that Christ is that intimate connection that brings a formal, distant relationship of Creator God to an intimate relationship with the created, up close and personal relationship of love. Jesus says this, reading on in John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is room for us in the heart of God. Jesus, as the way, the truth, and the life. Absolute, authentic love. And Christ calls us to love more than we can infinitely imagine or understand and empower and give life to others, even when we are afraid. Christ says once more in chapter 14, verse 12, The truth of the matter is, anyone who has faith in me will do the works that I do, and greater works besides, so that God may be glorified. The fullness of God's love is in our living and being and practicing resurrection even when our hearts are troubled sometimes and worried and afraid. So this week, 
How are we making our way toward God in love? To spend some time reflecting on that. Praying with those passages in John chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Because in God's house there are many dwelling places. And I am going to prepare a place for you. How do we live our truth in the intimate love of God, even when our hearts are troubled? For there are many dwelling places in the house of God. How do we live that this week? How do we empower others to be reminded that as they encounter us, they encounter God who reminds them that there is a place for all of us. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. For Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and there is room for all of us to dwell in the house of God's love. Let us live that message of love this day, this week. Amen.